everyone and welcome back to Loon Tutorials by C. Today this video is going to be a back to school video and um, yes I'm going to show you how to do these really cool pencil and pen covers and you can even do this on your hook like I did in, in the image. Today I'm going to be doing the cover on this green felt tip which I found in one of my pencil cases. Um, you can do this on a biro um, you can also do this on your sunglasses or on your hook. You can basically just use it for a cover for loads of stuff like that. Um, and But today I'm going to show you how to do it on this screen felt tip. And let's get started. To do this, I'm going to be using my hook. Um, I'm going to need this when I'm finished making the cover, to, you know, to slide it on. Um, brands, I'm using brands the color as the felt tip so obviously green bands and let's get started on this tutorial so you're going to start with your arrows facing towards you and you're going to find three pegs which are in this kind of pattern um i've chosen the ones on this side of the loom but you can choose any side obviously but i'm going to use these three and i'm going to take my band and i'm just going to place it across like that on the two pins. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this end of it and then take it over like so. And while I get to this pin, I'm also going to twist it so it creates this kind of triangular pattern in the center. The next steps is very, very simple. We're just going to take a color band I'm going to be using all the colors I'm going to be using are going to be green so I'm just using green all the time but if you're using multicolors um, if you're putting per for example purple here your go this next band is going to be purple as well um, so take another band and just place it on top of those three bands and then we're going to start looping and this looping is very very simple we're just going to take the band underneath and bring it over so it looks like that. And we're going to do that on all three sides. Like that. So push it down and then we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're not going to twist anything. We're just going to place it on and just start looping it. Because this is this it's a, basically the same step all along. And just loop I can get this band gosh where is that band okay found it no worries at all <laughs> so this is what you're going to look like and you're just going to continue this until you have finished and gotten the size of your pen or biro or felt tip and or your hook um for my hook, it only I only needed about that much of of bands. Um, so yeah, maybe if you're doing a pen, it's gonna be quite longer. But um, yes, so I'm gonna continue. Now for my pen, this is about the same length because it may look small, but it does stretch because they are just elastic bands. So to end this, I'll just leave that there. You're going to take all of these parts where the bands were on, off the pegs, and you're going to place it all to one peg. So I'm going to choose this peg to make it look like that. So do this, you'll need a steady hand. So then I've got all of those on one peg here. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab our hook and stick it in there. So we've got all those three bands. And we're going 
going to take another band and then we're going to place it on the hook and then while you take it up the tube you're going to face it towards the tube so you don't pick up any hair uh, uh no sorry oh my god not hair i mean bands gosh and then we're going and then when you got it on the hook like that you're going to take it like this and then grab that band so you're creating a slip knot so I just create a slip knot and I'm just making it tighter. And then you can just take it off the loom. So look how small that looks. But it is going to stretch towards the pen. So now I'm going to show you how to get it on to your pen or wherever you're going to be placing it. So as you can see, I already did it on my hook, and it was quite easy getting it on, actually. I thought it might be quite hard because of the hook sticking out, but it actually was quite easy. So let's get to threading it onto the pen. So now you're going to try and find a skinny point of the pen or your hook or whatever. So I'm just going to use the felt part, trying not to bend the felt, and then I'm just going to poke it into this. And don't worry if it comes out one of the holes just going to try and still just thread it through and as you can see because of the felt I am getting them on my fingers but you just got to carry on trying to thread it and I'm just going to continue to thread I'll zoom in a bit so you guys can see hopefully just need to try and thread it in so this is going to be quite tricky because I'm also trying not to bend the actual pen part so I'm going to take my time doing this and then I will be back with you when I have finished threading it so now I have threaded all of it but you guys can still see that what I'm going to do with the slip knot at the end now Next to this nip slip knot, there's like an, a little hole here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick the felt through that little hole like that and thread it to wherever I want it, like scrunching it up or spreading it wide or whatever I want to do. And then you can even create like a spiral effect if you wanted to. But I'm just going to push this all the way to the end, making sure it's not coming off though. And... I don't really want my, I don't like the feeling, maybe you will, I just, this is my personal decision, but I don't like the feeling of holding there with the loom, she's supposed to be holding it by like that, but I would do it like that, but anyway, I don't like the feeling of um, looms here while I'm grabbing the pen, so I'm just going to leave mine up here, um, but you're going, you don't want to go around with a pen like that, so... I, what I'm going to do is just taking it like so, and it's still a bit baggy like that. So I'm just going to twist it again like that, and then pushing it on. Then you can just adjust it to however you like it. And then there, as you can see, there's like a spirally in it. I'm just going to create more of a spiral effect. And then look how cool this looks. And of course you can do it anytime you want to. But this is how I like to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely did enjoy it because it's definitely something more kind of different. Because you don't see a lot of people just going around with these awesome pens. Just writing everywhere. So guys, I... Just remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!